Hola, soy Alejandro. Welcome to Key Spanish. In today's lesson, we're going to learn how to ask and give directions. In case you get lost in Spain or Google Maps stops working, then you are covered. Let's start learning how to ask first for the place we are looking for. You can use either of these three structures. ¿Dónde está? ¿Dónde está? This where is it? Where something is. O ¿Dónde queda? So both the verbs quedar and estar mean the same thing. It's basically where something is located. And the third one would be ¿Cómo llego a? ¿Cómo llego a? That is how do I get to? The verb llegar is to get to a place. Let's see an example. You could say, disculpe, ¿dónde está el arco de la estrella? Excuse me, where is el arco de la estrella? Disculpe, ¿dónde está el arco de la estrella? So, disculpe is excuse me, and we are using the usted form. Okay? Disculpe, ¿en dónde está? Where is? ¿Dónde está? You could also say, perdone, ¿dónde queda la calle Alcalá? Perdone is again, excuse me. And you could also add sabe. So do you know? ¿Sabe dónde queda la calle Alcalá? Do you know where Alcalá Street is? And the third one would be ¿Cómo llego a la Puerta del Sol? ¿Cómo llego a la Puerta del Sol? How do I get to Puerta del Sol? Now you know how to ask ¿Dónde está? ¿Dónde queda? ¿Cómo llego a? And it comes the tricky part, which is understanding the response from the other person. Let's see an example. To the question, disculpe, ¿dónde está el arco de la estrella? You could get the answer, well, siga todo recto y gire la segunda calle a la derecha. Siga todo recto y gire la segunda calle a la derecha. O gire también en la segunda calle a la derecha. So, the woman is saying, go straight ahead and take the second street on the right. Straight ahead, todo recto, gire is take or turn. Now, there are many ways in which you can uh, get an answer from how to get to a place. So, let's look at some vocabulary that is useful for the journey of getting there. So, you could hear gira a, as we, just, we have just read, gira a la derecha, gira a la izquierda. So, turn right, turn left. That's the verb girar. And then the person can add hacia in the name of a street. So, that is turn right towards this street. Hacia whatever street it is. So, girar to turn. You can also hear dirígete al norte, sur, este, oeste. Right? This is more, more than a person. You will see that on a... GPS or Google Maps, dirígete a, so uh, go towards this place. And the north, the south, east, west, towards this street, por, hacia o por. Mm? Hacia will be headed to, por will be through this street. All things you could hear, as we have just seen, todo recto. Todo recto means straight ahead. Or also you can say, you can hear, ve por. So, again, por means towards or through a certain street or certain place. B is the verb ir, to go. Todo recto o ve por la calle Alcalá. You can also hear continúa o sigue por. Continúa is keep going, keep going on that direction. Keep going through that street. Both continuar and seguir will be the same. And lastly, you can also say or hear cruzar. Cruzar is to cross. So you can say cruza la calle Alcalá. Cruza la calle Alcalá. So cross the street. O cruza el parque. Cross the park. That's the verb cruzar. This is some vocabulary. Again, you will need to understand if you want to actually follow the directions you are going to hear, which is Again, quite tricky. There are many options. You can hear to girar, seguir todo recto, continuar por, o cruzar. 
ir por, well, many options. And once you understood the journey you have to follow to get to your destination, maybe you need more details about where the destination exactly is. Let's take a look at that. Let's imagine you are at the mall and you are looking for the bathroom. So you could ask, disculpe, ¿dónde está el baño? Excuse me, where is the bathroom? And uh, someone might tell you, ah, la segunda planta, entre la tienda de ropa y la cafetería. So it's on the second floor between the clothing store and the cafeteria. So once you get to your destination, maybe you need more details on exactly where it is. If it's between this place or next to this place or to the right of this other place. So let's now look at some vocabulary that's helpful for that. So something can be enfrente o delante de. Enfrente, delante de. That is in front of. Enfrente, delante de. Something can be detrás de. Detrás de. That is behind. Detrás de. O, as we have just seen, entre. In between. Entre. Entre la tienda de ropa y la cafetería. Between the clothing store and the cafeteria. More things that you could hear would be more ways to locate places al lado o cerca de. Al lado, cerca de. That is next to or near. Al lado, cerca. The opposite of cerca, which is near or close, would be lejos. Lejos de. This de is the preposition we will use every time we refer to a place. Está cerca del centro comercial. Está lejos de la tienda de ropa. Okay? So cerca, close, lejos, far away. O also it's a la izquierda o a la derecha de. It's to the left or to the right of a certain place. So you are looking for a specific place, a specific street. You first need to know how to ask for it, donde está, como llego, or also you can ask donde queda, right? Then you need to understand the instructions for the journey, girar, to turn a certain way, or keep going, sigue recto, or cruzar, to cross. And then you can also, uh, what could also be useful to, for you to understand the details of the destination, if it's al lado de un sitio, next to a place, to the right of a place, a la derecha, or between two places, entre. And lastly, let's look how to ask for the existence of specific places or more common services you may need to look for. You could ask questions such as, ¿Hay algún in the place you are looking for cerca de aquí? Is there any place, whatever it is, nearby, cerca de aquí? You could also say, perdone, por aquí hay un o una in the place. So these common places, just to name a few, could be una cafetería, or a coffee shop, un cajero automático, maybe you need some cash, uh, so an ATM, una parada de taxis, you want to pick up a taxi, if that's the case, then you can watch our video on how to take a taxi in Spain, just to, uh, as a reminder. Or, as we have said, in the mall, you may be looking for the bathroom. ¿Dónde está el baño? O hay un baño por aquí. O a pharmacy, una farmacia, una parada de autobús. Whatever it is you are looking for, the question to ask would be, ¿Hay alguna, perdona, ¿hay alguna parada de autobús por aquí cerca? Excuse me, is there a bus stop nearby? Is alguna, is feminine, parada, o algún, if it's masculine. Like cajero automático. Hay algún cajero automático por aquí cerca, nearby. Por aquí cerca. And the person may reply, sí, a dos manzanas. Dos manzanas would be two blocks away. That's in Spain we say manzanas. The same word as for apple. In Latin America I think they say cuadras. But in Spain, two blocks would be manzanas. And sigue todo recto. Está al lado del centro comercial. So the bus stop is near the mall. Está al lado del centro comercial. That's it for today's lesson. Remember how to ask where a specific street place is. Donde está, donde queda. Remember the words you may hear to get to that destination. Girar, cruzar, more. And also the specific 
was to locate a place, if it's al lado, cerca, lejos, detrás, enfrente, and how to ask if there is a specific common service like a pharmacy, a coffee shop, or an ATM. Hay alguna farmacia por aquí cerca? O por aquí hay algún cajero automático? I hope you found today's lesson useful on asking and giving directions in Spanish. If so, please give it a like, dale a me gusta. And if you want con to continue learning some basic Spanish, you can watch the lesson I did on how to shop for clothes in case you are in the mall in el centro comercial and not only looking for the bathroom, but also looking to buy some nice clothes, una camiseta o un vestido. Then watch that lesson to learn vocabulary about that too. That's it. Thank you very much. Soy Alejandro de Key Spanish y nos vemos en clase.